Welcome to this machine quilting tutorial. My name is Leah Day and today I'm stitching out a beautiful design called Desert Sand. And this design starts with just long, wiggly, like gently curving flame shapes. And you're going to take this through your entire quilt or through an entire area. In this case, I'm stitching it more or less on the diagonal through a large quilt block. It's just a nice 10 inch square fabric. And you can see I'm just wiggling up and wiggling back down, coming to those sharp points and then wiggling off in another direction. And so this is how Desert Sand begins with this, basically it's called a foundational line. And so that's what gets us started with the design. And then now to fill in the rest of it, we're gonna travel stitch and echo. So echoing refers to stitching a specific distance away from a previous line of stitching. In this case, it's roughly about a half of an inch apart. So you can see as I stitch, I'm trying to maintain that distance evenly from one line to another. And I kind of look, it's not really looking at my needle and not really looking at the other line of quilting. It's more looking at the distance between them, that space between them. I'm just trying to maintain that space and make it nice and even. As you can see, as I quilt through this area, I stop a lot, reposition my hands, rotate the block around. All of that is perfectly fine and definitely necessary to be able to quilt this nice and smooth. As I quilt through and create like almost like a little patch, I can go ahead and fill in that little area. And then I'll travel stitch along the edge of the quilt, that little space, travel stitch along it, and then work my way down and fill in this area too. So what's nice about it is you can fill in areas kind of like in chunks. So I'm gonna kind of fill back and forth, working more lines into this space. And then I'll probably break thread or travel stitch to the opposite side of the line and fill it in the exact same way, just filling in with lots of rows of echo quilting. Now if you listen to my machine, as I come to those points, if I know I'm gonna stop, I kind of slow down a little bit. And as I slow down, I also slow down my hands. So that way my stitches stay the same size and stay the same length. This is free motion quilting and it's moving the quilt under your needle. You're essentially drawing with your needle. And in order to do this, we've got to kind of get our hands and our foot in sync so that they're working together all the time. It's a little bit challenging to get this and have, be, have like com perfectly consistent stitches. And as you can see, you know, some of my stitches are a little bit bigger and sometimes they get a little smaller, but really it's just a practice thing. The more you do it, the more consistent your stitches will become and the more even your quilting will look. But uh, at least in the beginning, this can be a little bit of a struggle for beginners. Uh, and just don't judge your stitches. You know, don't take a magnifying glass to them or anything like that. Just keep on quilting. So here I'm finishing up just this one last little flame shape. You can see just how pretty all of these rows and rows of echoes can be. And it all really was, it all began from that foundational line. That's what set the stage for all the texture. So you can see once you fill in one half of it, the next step is to travel stitch or pull up thread on the opposite side. And we're just gonna fill in this space the exact same way, echoing those lines all the way around. And we'll fill in that side the exact same way. And it's gonna fill the whole space with this beautiful flowing texture. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed learning how to quilt desert sand with me today. You can click right here to find this design in the machine quilting block party block number seven pattern. And it includes a diagram for desert sand as well as piecing and quilting instructions for a beautiful cabin fever block. So definitely check that out at leahday.com. And if you have any questions about this design, definitely ask in the comments below. Until next time, let's go quilt.